Hello, my name is Michael Stevens and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic specializing in inflammatory bowel diseases in children. I'd like to talk about an article that was recently published in the Journal of Pediatrics about very early onset inflammatory bowel disease. This appears to be a very unique group in, 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 if we think of all patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, the authors of this article focused on trying to identify some of the unique clinical features of these patients. The way that the study worked is it utilized data from a very large multi-center registry uh, with many pediatric IBD centers of excellence. They looked at 2,000, roughly 2,000 patients who had been enrolled in their registry over 10 years. And 112 of those patients fit into the category of what's called very early onset IBD. This is generally broken up based on age. Very early onset IBD tends to be at least under the age of 10, and many would argue under the age of 6. What they found comparing these to uh, older children and even adults with IBD is their disease behaves very differently. At the beginning, they tend to have relatively mild disease, and it tends to be um, isolated to the large intestine. Over time, it changes in behavior, and it tends to become much more severe than what you might call the average patient with IBD, and it also tends to involve other regions of the intestine. This is a little unique when compared to adults or even adolescents. More importantly, it seems to be difficult to control, at least when they use the measure of escalation of therapies and the type of medications that were used. In a sense, this is not surprising, uh, as a lot of us who take care of patients who are very young who have inflammatory bowel disease have suspected this for a long time and, and observed this anecdotally. One of the things uh, that I think is important to recognize from this if you have a child with very early onset IBD is um, A, it's not appropriate necessarily to extrapolate to adult experience uh, and, and in making decisions about, tr about therapy. Uh, B, this is, this is probably a different disease from what we see in adults. The other thing that we've begun to really realize is many of these patients have more definable problems with their immune system. Collaborating with good immunologists and, and often using more advanced genetic testing can often allow us to identify a primary immunodeficiency or a more definable problem than saying, your child has Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And this can lead to more customized therapies that focus on that child's specific problem.